me someone threw a plate glass window. Really? You've all seen it in the movies. Hero in the bar. Along comes a drunk fool. Light kicks off. Fists are flying. Bottles breaking. Pool cues being shoved where they shouldn't be. And then a guy is hurled through the window, crashing through the glass into a heap on the floor. Deep demonstration. Yes, it has its own word. It's a common cliche. But does it pass on closer inspection? Modern tempered glass is manufactured with a high surface compression that requires anything upwards of 20,000 psi to even break. Hurling old Billy Bob cheek spreader at it would most likely see him bounce off, leaving a trail of teeth and tears and a nasty imprint that some poor lackey's going to have to windex off before closing time. But what about annealed glass? That's the ordinary type of glass created through slow cooling instead. Sure, Johnny Boy Cousin Hump of the Third would easily break through this one. But annealed glass doesn't shatter into tiny cubes like tempered glass. Instead, the shards would be long, razor sharp and plentiful, tearing through the skin like, well, razors. And the glass above the hole that Jean-Luc Moonshine just made? It's only got one place to go. Congratulations! You just created a rudimentary guillotine! Conclusion. Defenestration? Such a great word. Looks great in the movies, but don't try it in the real world. Maybe just try and avoid bar fights? <laughs>